Hello, Reed Elementary. This is Mrs. Weber. I'm here to share a story with you today, and it's a story about differences written by Dr. Seuss. The name of the book is Hooray for Different Do for Day, and I'm celebrating that school is different this year, but we're happy to have you with us, and there's still a lot to learn together. As you listen to the story, please enjoy the names of the teachers and the characters in the book, and when the book is finished, I would love to you to think about words that rhyme and write them down because Dr. Seuss loves rhyming words. Words like book, look, read, bed, fed. I'll link some ideas below for you to check out. So enjoy the story, Hooray for Different Do for Day by Dr. Seuss. And of course those stripes grab me. Hooray for Different Do for Day by Dr. Seuss. I've always lived in Dinkerville. My friends all live here too. We go to different do for school. We're happy that we do. Our school is at the corner of Dinksober and Dinksot. It looks like any other school, but we suspect it's not. I think we're learning lots of things not taught at other schools. Our teachers are remarkable. They make up their own rules. I challenge you to make up rules for school. Miss Bobble teaches listening, Miss Wobble teaches smelling, Miss Fribble teaches laughing, and Miss Quibble teaches yelling. Miss Twinning teaches tying knots and knicker chips and noodles and how to tell chrysanthemums from miniature poodles. Miss Vinning teaches all the ways a pigeon may be peppered and how to put a saddle on a lizard or a leopard. What animal would you want to saddle up and ride? My teacher is Miss Bonkers. She's as bouncy as a flea. I'm not certain what she teaches, but I'm glad she teaches me. Look, look, she chirps. I'll show you how to tell a cactus from a cow. And then I shall instruct you why a hippo cannot hope to fly. She even teaches frogs to dance and pigs to put on underpants. One day she taught a duck to sing Miss Bonkers teaches everything. Of all the teachers in our school, I like Miss Bonkers best. Our teachers are all different, but she's differenter than the rest. We also have a principal. His name is Mr. Logue. He is the very saddest man. He mumbles, are they learning this and that and such and such? His face is wrinkled as a prune from worrying so much. He breaks a lot of pencil points from pushing down too hard, and many dogs start barking as he mopes around the yard. We think he wears false eyebrows. In fact, we're sure it's so. We've heard he takes them off at night. I guess we'll never know. But we know he likes Miss Bonkers. He treats her like a queen. He's always there to watch her when she's on her trampoline. There are many other people who make different do for run. They are utterly amazing. I love every single one. Our nurse, Miss Clot, knows what to do when we've got sniffles or the flu. One day I had a splinter, so she bandaged me from head to toe. Mr. Plunger, our custodian, has fashioned a machine, a super zooper flopper do, it keeps the whole school clean. Our music teacher, Mrs. Fox, makes bagpipes out of straws and socks. Our art instructor, Mr. Bees, paints pictures hanging by his knees. Wouldn't you love teachers like these? I would. In science class with Mrs. Katz, we learn to build robotic rats. In gym, we watch as Mr. Bean Hoist elephants into the air. Miss Moon is our librarian. She hides behind the shelves and often cries out louder when we're reading to ourselves. We have three cooks, all named Mick Munch, who merrily prepare our lunch. They make us hot dogs, beans, and fries, plus things we do not recognize. And as they cook, they sing their song, not too short and not too long. Roast and toast and slice and dice, cooking lunches, oh so nice. We were eating their concoctions, telling jokes and making noise when Mr. Lowe appeared and howled, attention girls and boys. 
He began to fuss and fidget, scratch and mutter, sneeze and cough. He shook his head so hard we thought his eyebrows would come off. He wrung his hands, he cleaned his throat, he shed a single tear, then sobbed. I've something to announce, and that is why I'm here. All schools for miles and miles around must take a special test to see who's learning such and such to see which school's the best. If our small school does not do well, then it will be torn down and you will all have to go to school in dreary Flobber Town. <gasps> not Flobber Town, we shouted and we shuddered at the name. For everyone in Flobber Town does everything the same. It's miserable in Flabber Town. They dress in just one style. They sing one song, they never dance. They march in single file. They do not have a playground and they do not have a park. Their lunches have no taste at all. Their dogs are scared to bark. Miss Bonkers Rose, don't fret, she said. You learn the things you need to pass that test and many more. I'm certain you will succeed. We've taught you that the earth is round, that red and white make pink, and something else that matters more. We've taught you how to think. I hope you're right, sighed Mr. Lowe. He shed another tear. The test is in 10 minutes, and you're taking it right here. Ooh, I'm stopping the book. This is part one for you. Think about what's going to happen when the children take the test. And tell me how you would Share with your family who Miss Bonkers is. What is she like? How would you describe her? And that principal, Mr. Lowe, what would you say about him? So take some time to think about the book. Grab another Dr. Seuss book. If you could read or have a family member read to you, look up more ideas on the internet about rhyming words. Like I said, I'm gonna link things below. Thanks for listening. Part two will come soon.